Hello everyone, it's Maria with Angelfish Design. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. Today I have four wonderful pastel spring junk journals to share with you. They are all traveler's notebook standard size, so they can be used with a traveler's notebook cover, or they can be used as a standalone journal with these really pretty, um, I like to call them shabby fabric ties. So they're very similar, but uh, they do have a few little variances in each one, but they each have a really pretty tassel that clips on. They have these shabby fabric ties, some little fun things sticking out there on clips, as well as a variety of tabs and fluffy things sticking out on the side. Super delicious. So we'll go through one journal first, then we'll go through the other three very quickly as they are all pretty similar. So I'm gonna put these aside. You, oh, I just knocked the... Oh, okay. I hope you are all doing well and enjoying some warmer weather, if there is warmer weather by you. So this first one is called Daisies, from the Daisies on the front. And again, it has a fun tassel that's clipped on. It has these beads on there and all kinds of fun fibers and ribbons. And that just clips on, so you can take that off when, while you are journaling or if you want to clip it onto something else that you have. And then this is so fun. I think this is my new favorite kind of tie to do. And I like to call it a shabby fabric tie. And it just has all different strips of fabrics stitched together with a bit of lace in the middle or on the edge there. And they're just so fun. If you decide you don't want to use this as your tie for your journal, or maybe you're going to put it in a traveler's notebook cover, this would be great if you wanted to cut it apart and maybe use it on edges of your pages or, you know, anything like that. So that is that, and each one there is slightly different because of the fabrics. But then on the cover here, we have this pretty daisy image and some gold little leaf flower type sticker and little bits of a snippet roll that I made, super pretty, and some lace edge there. And then we come inside and we have this little library pocket. It does have a tuck in the back, so you could put something there. And inside, there's actually two pockets here. There's this one on the front and then this one behind. This is a little journal card, which actually goes this way, but it's easier to put in the pocket this way. But that says happy and then has a bit of decoration on it. And then you just have a cute little tag and this little bit of a calendar. It's slightly outdated calendar, but it's pretty pink. It can be used in your journaling somewhere. And we have a cute little fabric tab there. And some stitching. And then this is fun. This folds out not once, but twice. So there's lots of journaling space there and then an extra pocket in there for you. And in this book, instead of doing the stance, uh, stamping and stenciling, I went ahead and made some fun little edges like this uh, with some strips of scrap paper and a bit of washi behind. And then we have our ruffles on the edges and a little clip here. And this was, each one of these will have one of this. This was the top of this before I attached that to the cover. So I just removed that and added a little bit of fabric on top so that you can use that in the journal wherever you like. And then this uh, paper clip adds a little bit of nice fluff for the edges. And then I have a, uh, was a project life card, so an altered project life card as a journaling card. And a little tag here, just made from some packaging but it was nice and spring looking. And then we have this paper clip with a little dangle on it and a bit of note paper and another altered project life card. And here we have one of these little flip up tuck spots. So there's room for some hidden journaling there. And inside is a cute little tag, a bit of ephemera, it's one of those phone message pieces that's fun to do some journaling on and then another bit of a project life journaling card there fun colors that all went well and I just love this page from a calendar this beautiful colors and the butterfly and then you can either write on that or you could cover it with some other paper and you know add your journaling and photos and now each one of these will have this fun little fabric flip this is just clipped in so you can remove that if you want, or you could even glue it in if you liked it there permanently or somewhere else in the journal. 
but those flip up and you can use this you can leave it as it is and it is a pretty little flip or you can cut this up and use them use different fabrics in your journal somewhere and then on this side we have a pretty tuck spot there and again some more fun little journal pages and a tag and then this page flips out there for extra journal space and then in the middle of each of the journals is a little envelope so that just pops open like that and inside each one have some vintage papers here this one is from a book on birds and then this was from one of the better homes and gardens uh, garden book so those are fun you could use those somewhere in your journal and then I have a belly band on this side and this is just a full sheet of music paper another pretty edge here and this says flower and another edge and a fabric tab and in this little side tuck pocket is a guest check and this pretty note paper there clipped together a little paper clip and then this paper clip is fun because it has this cute little house on it and it says happy place and that is holding on this little envelope made from another sheet of magazine paper so pretty and inside a little butterfly and some extra pieces of ephemera. And this page has a bit of embellishment there on the edge. And this tag, let's see if I can get you to see that, has a tiny little leaf stamped on it. Hopefully you can see that. It's cute little beads. And another little side pocket here with little bit of coffee dyed uh, index card and this is another cute little note sheet and this one has a little bicycle on it so super cute and another fabric tab I layered up some different um, ribbons for those and then this is fun this is a napkin decoupaged over some vintage German paper it's so pretty and then in this pocket there is a little saying. This one says, And the day came when the risk it took to remain tight inside the bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom. So that's on there. And then you have a little card for journaling here and this little mini notebook. Fun. And then more. This is a vintage uh, curtain fabric. It was super cute. So put some of that in there because it had kind of a spring feel. And another flower. And this is a card there, little tag, and then this is folded over. It's a note card with a bicycle that coordinates with that green paper with the bicycle. And then in the final back page here, I have a sheet from the uh, Diary of an Edwardian Lady. I know you know all of you, you guys all know this. So that is a sheet from there. But this is not one of the original books from the 19 early 1900s. This one was a reprint. Um, I think from the mid 80s or something like that. So that is in there and my little logo is down there poking out and that is the first journal. So now we'll just go very quickly through the other three. Okay, we have a paper clip from somewhere. We'll figure it out. Okay, again this one has this fun fabric strip there and the clip. A little flower dangle on the end there okay and then this one has lilies on the front again with a snippet and a gold sticker there and again these are all very much the same this is happy so those I won't pull all those out for you because we've seen those from the first one and then this is this one's flip page a little bit taller envelope there and this one has these little floral fluffy bits as tabs, whereas the other books have the fabric tabs and the um, ribbon tabs. Okay, I think that, no, that didn't come off of there. But here we have the piece that says lilies and the extra page there. And again, the same, another tag there and that flip there. And then the fabrics again. And they're held on with a this one has a really fluffy uh, paper clip up there like a little tassel and 
a little pocket on the other side. Let's just check. He has some pretty things on there from uh, some decoupage napkin. And this tab says, let's fly away. And another of those journal cards. This one has pretty crocus from a uh, calendar. And these, this is the same pocket and it has the same things inside of it, the book page and the page from the Better Homes and Gardens. So those are all the same, different pages, but from the same book. Again, another sheet of music paper. And this one has this pretty tag, a die cut uh, Tim Holtz flower, some buttons, and this is vintage ribbon. So that's really pretty. And this has a little blue dangle on it. And that's that uh, bicycle card. And this has a flip like that. This says hello. And the other side of the crocus page there. That little goodies in that pocket again. And this is a little watercolor flower. I made these, painted those last year and made these little um, cute embellishments last year. So that's fun. That is completely uh, hand painted there. Oh, maybe this is where this came from. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. And that's a large tag with another uh, Tim Holtz wildflower die cut and some embossed paper. It says flower. And this was from one of those master boards that I made. And again, that. And the little folded paper. And another little notebook. And this one, the pocket says, love the moment and the energy of the moment will spread beyond all boundaries. Some really pretty quotes. And this one has a little bird on top there. And the page again from Edith Holden. That's the name of the lady. Uh, and on this one, I have the logo sticking out from the pocket there. And this one is pansies, although they kind of look more like poppies to me because they're red. I don't think I've ever seen red pansies before, but maybe they exist out there somewhere. And this dangle has a tiny little polka dot button on the end of it. Super cute. Okay, again, another gold flower there. Those, uh, These are my new favorite stickers. These were from the dollar store and I just love them. I've been using them on everything. And this one has a cute little blue pocket in the back there. And this pretty butterfly, um, another Project Life card. And this pretty tag. I have been making a lot of these embellishments uh, for the 100 day project. So if you're following me on Instagram, you may have seen a lot of these embellishments already. And this was one of the tipping pages that I made for that. It has pretty embroidery that I did on there, a little flower. And here's that fabric flip. And then again, another decoupaged guest check. And this um, calendar page there with the little hummingbirds, so sweet. And more of those papers. And then this little paper clip there with a dangle at the top. And one of those fabric tabs here in the pocket again. Music sheet. I really like the way these fabric tabs turned out this time by layering the different uh, fabrics and ribbons. And that's your card and your notebook again. And in this side pocket, we have a little tag and that bit of note paper. The same there in that pocket with a little dangle on that heart. There's that, and this little flower paper clip. And here is the flip out on this one, another small one. And then this can be put either on the top or on the side, wherever you want to put it. I put it here because this is holding this pocket in place, and there's the pansies. And this pocket, I really like the way it turned out. So this is one of those uh, foam message papers, and I folded it up stitched there and it has some decoupage and it's got a little piece of fabric with one of those bulb pins and a tiny button and a brad on there super cute i just love the way that turned out and then this has 
this belly band made out of a guest check and has another guest check inside there and uh, that bicycle card, some little embellishments and the Edith Holden paper, a cute little teacup on the side and my logo there. All right, that is Pansies. Book four, our last one is Peonies. All right, and this one, this also has the tiny little polka dot button on the bottom. Super cute. I just love the way these tassels turned out. I love these colors. Just so soft and spring-like and all the flowers. Just love it. I hope you'll love them too. Okay. Pretty peonies on the front. Okay, we have this little pocket and it has a cute little bag of flowers that says I love you on it. And on this one we have this was a memory dex, or well, a Rolodex index card. And then a little quote and some stenciling I did on that. And then this is one of those fold open tags. And it has this really pretty image of the hummingbird with the morning glories stamped on it there. And cute little dangle with a leaf. And there's the peonies and the little extra tag there. This one is kind of fun. It has the butterflies and it says dream. And then here's cute another little lilies there. And this one has a little flip out here and this also has a little pocket there. And your guest check, your notes. And I think these are allium maybe? I don't remember how what those flowers are. And this is one of my new favorite kind of tuck spots. So it's a tuck on one side with the flip on the other, but that's all one piece. So that's a lot of fun. I love making those. That's a great way to use some of your six by six paper or cut your 12 by 12s into four six by sixes. And then you'd have six or four of those to use in your journal. Super fun. Lots of cute note paper there. And that flips out. This bit of note paper is attached to the page. And this is just a little sack there with the pink tag inside. And then your fabrics again. And another little side pocket there. This was really fun, fun way to um, add some pockets to your pages. This was a short page that I had here, so it has the full length on this side, but it wasn't long enough, you know, to make it a full page this way. So it was just this short page sticking out. So I attached this full piece onto it to make that pocket. So that was that was really fun. And then a little notebook here. Oh, that's what it says under there. Be glad of life because it gives you the chance to love and to work and to play and to look up at the stars by Henry Van Dyke. Okay, this one has a belly band back here with another guest check and that little bicycle card. And then the Edith Holden and my logo is again poking out behind that under there and the pretty little bird there. All right, so that is all four of the journals. And these will be listed in my Etsy shop. And you'll find the links down below as always. I hope you enjoyed all of these. And if you are interested, take a peek at them in my shop. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I will see you next time.